Um, but hats off to that team to come in with just seven or eight players and be able to play us to the wire like that. And we always know it's a it's a tough game with Temple just because again they um they got some guards that always want to handle the pressure and they always up for the challenge each and every time. But again, we came out slow because um you know we've been off for three or four days, meaning just because we had the. Uh, cancellation of the game at Memphis, so we got a half a practice before we left. If they couldn't practice up there, and then you have to fly back, and then you don't get a practice that day. And then you come back and you try to get them back going again. And it takes a minute. It takes a minute. That's why we're trying to reschedule this game now. Hopefully, um, I'm supposed to talk to Carl today and see how how we're going to be able to reschedule it for next week. But hats off to our girls for staying staying locked in, doing what we need to do, uh, especially necessary things to be able to. To uh, pull this win out, you know, again, we needed somebody to step up and, and be able to knock down some shots and get other people involved, and that's what Layla did. You know, but hats off to Taylor for coming off the bench and yes. providing a great spark. Bria for you know playing, Bria and Brittany for playing with two fouls. Yes. You know, had to come back in in that second quarter, and Tatiana Hill who didn't have a great shooting night but still stayed on the boards and had another double digit rebounding game. So again, it's just an entire team um, effort that I'm really proud of to to be able to pull out this win. Coach, you, you commented on a lot of stuff I wanted to ask you about, about players and stuff, but when will you know about the rescheduled game against Memphis? Um, hopefully in the next 24 hours. Uh, Carl Hicks is my phone call later on this evening, and um, hopefully we have something um, narrowed down or, or something confirmed by this evening or uh, first thing tomorrow. And if you don't get a game rescheduled next week, you'll be off until Sunday then, right? Exactly. So, again, now you're going into – uh, we'll probably practice uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday to get ready for the South Florida game. You know, so again, you're looking at another couple of days, two or three days off, and then you got to try to get them back on again. So again, that's 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 the part that's kind of iffy because again, with the layoff, it, it just it helps them to stay in rhythm. It's just like anything else, you know, a batter that's coming up to the plate that's always there, or a free throw shooter, or, or whatever game that. People are playing. You want to stay in rhythm, and when you have those breaks, they take you out of the rhythm. Layla, how you describe these last few days for you and the team dealing with the travel issues and not being able to practice, not playing a game, all those things. Um, I definitely say it was not ideal. You know, we wanted we wanted to go play. You know, we didn't want to not sit out. So, but we did take it for what it was. You know, everybody was able to rest their legs. So, looking at the bright side of that, being able to you know rest our legs, and even though. We were able to, you know, get that up and down feel like an in-game situation. We were still in the gym, still in gym shooting. I think that showed up in big time moments down down the stretch. Even though we didn't play our best game, we were able to show up in those key moments. And I think that was the it was the little things that we did during the week through, you know, the practices that we did have, the little the times when we could shoot in the gym. Um, everybody was dialed in, and I think that really helped us. Now, what are your thoughts on the the four point play that Brittany got in his one point lead, made it five? That's Brittany. That's Brittany for you. And she's always going to have those big time type plays. And um, I just be waiting for him, honestly. And when she did it, it wasn't surprising to me. So, you know, she's a big time player and she's going to make those shots all the time. And then, Coach, your thoughts on that four point play from Brittany? You know, that's why we always wanted to shoot him. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly why, you know, a lot of coaches would be like, don't shoot it, don't shoot it all the time, especially when you're in the slump and all those kind of things. We always want her to shoot it. Because again, when you shoot it, you're a threat. You open up the floor for other people. Even if you don't get it off, um, you can create opportunities for other people to have some space to be able to play, especially Tatiana, which she was throwing in. And Taylor had plenty of room to play um, just because Brittany takes those shots. So we're, we're delighted for her to take those opportunities and getting fouled is the bonus. Do you, do you believe that the pressure defense kind of wore Temple down in the second half? I think so because Number two was going to get the ball all the time in the first half. In the second half, third and fourth quarter, she was all in hardly ever getting the basketball. They were throwing it into the five player, and then whoever took the ball out, which is five or 22 or 11, was trying to run in and be able to get the basketball so they could try to uh, preserve two a little bit in the uh, half court. Um, just because um, they were somewhere around the second quarter, they were already talking about the pace. And, and trying to get the ball over the floor every single time at the free throw line, you know. So again, that's why we had a little stoppage in play, and people fall in, stand down a little longer, that kind of stuff. For again, the pace when you get people coming to trap you and you know rotate every single time, and then up when you got a battle to get the ball and every single catch it wears you down. And then you know they only had those three guards 
four guards mostly that had to pay all those minutes. So uh, I'm quite sure it just wore on her a little bit. Now comment on the lumps coming back, alumni day, just having to come back to the program. Tremendous to have them in the building. You know, we always say what we do is uh, built on the foundation for what they've done. You know, uh, our young ladies understand that. You know, we have great facilities now. We have charter flights now. You know, it's it's all because they put the groundwork in. You know, they didn't have pregame meals of, of what we have now. They didn't have, you know, they traveled in vans. You know, they still had to go and, and, and play these games off of, you know, our girls get per diems and, and NILs and all this kind of stuff. And, and they barely got five or $10 just for a meal. So we always want to show our greatest appreciation to them, you know, just because of the, the foundation that they laid and then they continue to come back. You know, so when they come back, we want to show our so our, our greatest gratitude and I open up our arms to them and show them how blessed we are for um, what they've done to be able to help build this program and we want to carry on the legacy that they started. And then one last thing, Layla, have you talked to former players about, have they talked to you about what it was like for them compared to what you have now? Yes, I actually have, you know, um, some actually that played with um, our athletic director, uh, uh, yes, Ms. yeah, Ms. Chizer, um, who played with her. Um, she was telling me about how they didn't even have a locker room, you know, and it's just, it's like, they look, she, she came to visit and look at the facility and she was just astonished. And I was like, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. But it's just, it's big to see how much things have evolved for the women's side and it's still evolving and it still has to continue to bring awareness too, because there's so much more work to be done. So um, honestly, it's just, I, I've talked to even other people, you know, other than her. It's just big time to hear that we are evolving, but it, it still is a lot to be done. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Chris.